Dying Light 2 is coming soon. It is official. Techland has released a couple gameplay videos. You can see this footage and uh, we can learn some stuff from this. But anyways, if you haven't finished Dying Light the following yet, you need to click away now because there are going to be spoilers. So you've been warned. Some time has passed between the first game and the second game, as you can see from the growth on the roofs. But back in the first game, during the following DLC, at the end, you had to choose between nuking Haran and destroying the virus completely, or punching this bitch square in the face. As you can tell from Dying Light 2 coming out, Crane chose option 2 and that was to escape the quarantine zone and infect the very first person he could find, which happened to be a couple children and a mother. What a dick. So yeah, it's all Crane's fault. He is the universe's biggest douche. Congratulations to Crane. Now back to the present, we are going to do some awesome Peter Pan action shit here. We're going to be... Uh, learning some new parkour moves and hopefully we are not going to be knocking into as many collision barriers just like in the first game um, new crane should be able to step over boxes and things very easily another thing i'm really excited about is vehicles hopefully we can jack these things and i'm also excited to be drop kicking dudes off of rooftops as usual but there's something that techland is hiding from us and it has something to do with nighttime. In the first game, we had zombie invasions, which was our PvP game mode that we all love. Um, well, some of us. But um, I'm thinking that they are going to do the same thing, zombie invasions, but change it up a little bit so that uh, more people will like it. But anyways, back to the main game. Um, civilization, we have to rebuild it and uh, I found this list of rules in their video and one thing that stuck out was the lie rule. Do not lie or you will die. And that seems pretty harsh to me but that goes to show that uh, these people just don't like people who lie. I don't know why, whatever, I can drop kick that dude off the roof but fuck it, don't lie. Anyways, as you can see these rooftops are pretty barren but time goes by as you progress through the game and then everything's full. I think these are safe zones. Just like in Fallout 4 when you build a settlement, um, you have you know settlers coming in and all that. I think that's the same game mechanic that's happening here. But check out that weapon. Oh my god. Here are the weapons from the original game. Beautiful. Brand new. And of course in the future our weapons are made of shit. But we only have three weapons to look at from the videos that Techland released. And um, I'm sure these are just the base, you know, like the first weapons you find during the prologue. But it actually gave me the idea that maybe we are going to be able to craft our own weapons and mix and match different things. Which inspired me to make this God Hammer, as I call it. It's my Warhammer that I made out of a fire extinguisher, which I strapped to this lamp with some duct tape. And then I repurposed the power cord into a lasso for catching my prey and bashing them. Um, I'm very proud of it. But anyways, I found some prey to test this out on. I got the lasso and of course they fell for it. There was a struggle, but she exhausted herself. And then I finished her off with my tomahawk that I made out of a shoe and a fly swatter, which I also adore. But anyways, guys, um, basically it's just building a civilization there's gonna be different factions you're gonna be going to war with people you can choose you know these dicks or you can choose those dicks or you can choose who knows assholes they're all gonna be assholes as you can see from the list of rules but that's dying light 2 um thanks to the mother and you know crane for being just the biggest douche possible for spreading the virus all over the earth um we have this game now so back to the zombie invasions now techland like i said and you will see this for yourself it's not like um something you'll miss um they're being very ominous is that the word for it ominous about the night time um obviously we're gonna have volatiles you know things that get burnt by the uvs but um we have our pvp mode that we love um 
but not very many people love it. Some people find it off-putting for some reason. Um, I found it off-putting at first, but I think Techland, they're going to retool it to make it more uh, attractive for everybody to try. And I think it's going to be a much better version of Zombie Invasions. Hopefully it's a mix of like hide and seek. That's actually why I made those hide and seek videos is I was trying to get Techland to uh, make the Night Hunter way tougher than the human to where the human had to sneak around. And hopefully whoever's playing the Night Hunter can jump scare the shit out of the human. Um, when I was uh, coming up with the hide and seek thing with Zodiac and uh, Blarg, I think it was, um, I had Alien Isolation in mind. I think a lot of people thought of um, Vanos' videos. He plays that one game, I forget what it's called, but you got like Prop Hunt and Hide and Seek. But uh, yeah, somebody came up with a Prop Hunt idea. That is not what I was thinking at all. I was thinking, you know, they were on the right track with the Night Hunter, you know, hunting the human. But the human shouldn't be able to just shit all over the Night Hunter all day. Uh, yeah, and I think that's what Techland is going to do about the nighttime, and I think there's going to be a lot more to it. Um, we're just, you know, we're scratching the surface, uh, viewing, I guess, the tip of the iceberg. I'm fucking bad with words, guys, okay? I don't know why you listen to me. But anyways, uh, thanks for listening to me. Um, check out Klaus Kiwi's video. Uh, he hasn't posted anything yet on this uh, release of um, gameplay for Dying Light 2, but he will, and he pulls this shit apart with so much detail. He'll point out things that I fucking, you know, didn't see or whatever. I was too busy watching the Fallout 76 E3 announcement. So, very busy night for me. Um, I can finally stop recording myself talking and hopefully you guys found this fun to watch. I hope you found it informative. And like I said, um, it's going to be a lot like Fallout 4 with the settlements and maybe, hopefully, crafting weapons. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.